The immortal pen of James Fenimore Cooper brings you thrilling tales of excitement. Blazing action on the early American frontier. Stirring adventures filled with the daring and courage of Hawkeye, first of the Long Rifles, and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans. That's a fine description for a tax collector like yourself, Master Boomer. You! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, yes, Master Boomer. Ethan Allen and his Green Mountain boys at your service. The fat one's getting fat. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and from the looks of him, richer. Don't you touch it, Ethan Allen! That's government money! Now, what made me believe it was plunder? Gouged out of the hides of... Honest settlers, to keep you and that polecat sheriff eating high on the hog. <laughs> now, what should we do with him? Hey, get the rope, boy. No! <laughs> <laughs> Let me go, you gallows birds! I'll see you all hang! Huh? Yourselves! You hat, sir! <laughs> you pay for this, Ethan Allen! <laughs> all right, boys. String him up. No! How come is that? Help! 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 There. Help! No, no! I don't want to die! Now stop sawing the wind, friend. He's just going to cut you loose. <laughs> First time I see man fall up tree. It was Ethan Allen and those Green Mountain bullies of his. First they robbed me, and then they leave me as helpless prey to wild beasts. I've heard of this, Ethan Allen. You're sure it was him? Sure as death and taxes. I see him whenever I'm out performing my duty collecting taxes. Like a ghost out of Hades, he appears. Well, this sounds like something the sheriff in the settlement should hear about. He'll hear about it. This time, Ethan Allen's gone too far. Oh, I told him I'd live to see him hang from the gallows. It's the uh, right amount for the three of us, isn't it, Sheriff? Where do you get it? You didn't have it yesterday when Boma went around to collect? From Ethan Allen, that's where. I was robbed. And I'd still be out there if they hadn't come along. And that's part of my collection, no doubt. Boomer, I told you to wait for a couple of my men before you started collecting again. You know what the penalty is for conspiring with an outlaw like Ethan Allen? The rope. We don't know nothing about Ethan Allen. We, we just come here to pay our taxes. Pay your taxes? Yesterday, I was tacking up eviction warnings on your cabins. And a few hours after I was robbed, here you are paying with what you didn't have before. Fair, smart, and smug, ain't you? Well, we'll see if some of that can be taken out from you from behind bars. Maybe that'll be a lesson to some of the other law-breaking settlers around here. We're honest, then. Which is more than can be said for you, Sheriff Peterson? You're under arrest. Don't you think you're being a little hasty, Sheriff? I was just thinking, money's money. Might be a little difficult to identify which coins came out of the tax collector's pouch and which didn't. I'll be the judge of that. You're under arrest. Don't you think you need a little more proof than just an angry opinion before you start arresting people for paying their taxes? Just who do you think you are telling me my business? Well, why didn't you say so before? Look, here, get out of here. Next time, pay your taxes on the day they're due. I, uh, I wasn't expecting the Commissioner General to send anyone so quick. <laughs> well, was I, Bulmer? Uh, no. No, we figured it'd be two, three weeks more. The Commissioner General considered your complaint about this outlaw, Ethan Allen, deserving of fast action. From what we've seen, I'd say that Allen and his Green Mountain boys pose you quite a problem. Robbers and traitors obstructing and preventing a king's officer from doing his duty. Ah, uh, Bulmer, the gentlemen know all about that now. Uh, you uh, must pardon me for uh, losing my temper with the settlers just now. It's just their sort that are protecting Ethan Allen. Why would a law-abiding citizen do that? Well, some of them ain't so honest. Some of them would sell their souls for a few pence. 
Well, you can never tell which one of them's spying for Ethan Allen and which one ain't. That's the pity of it, Sheriff. An outlaw looks just like an honest man from the outside. I knew the Commissioner General would send us a man who understood my problem. I'm all for working hand in glove with you. I don't mind admitting this is my first time in Green Mountain country. From what you say about this Ethan Allen, I'll be needing all the help I can get. Well, we'll be glad to help you in any way we can. Now, there's a few likely places Ethan Allen may be hiding out. Uh, Green Mountain Pass, Twin Peaks, Meadow Grange. Where do you like to start? It's all the same to you, Sheriff. The nearest tavern sinking my teeth into a rare bit of mutton. Good day to you, gentlemen. <laughs> A silent Indian and a simple woodsman. <laughs> the Commissioner General couldn't have been kinder to us than if he was our own brother. <laughs> we got nothing to worry about. Ain't we? Hmm? The minute you came walking in here with him, I had a feeling that nothing good was blowing in. For your information, Master Boomer, the Commissioner General has sent us the one man who can give us more trouble than Ethan Allen. That simple woodsman, as you call him, has a name. It's Hawkeye. Well, he doesn't suspect anything. It's, it's Ethan Allen he's after. For once, my fat friend, you're right. We gotta make sure that he finds Ethan Allen before he finds out about us. Oh, Mr. Woodsman. Uh, asking your pardon, but my friends and I wanna thank you for your words to the sheriff. You can thank your own honesty, Mr. Fickett, for paying the king's taxes. The king's taxes? <laughs> Fair lot the king knows about these taxes, lying in the sheriff's pockets and... Those are serious charges. If you've got proof, you do well to bring it before the proper authorities. Get clapped in jail or have to chase off to Green Mountain and hide out with Ethan Allen? Uh, no, thank you. Mr. Fickett, according to you, everything around here is upside down. The sheriff's the outlaw and the outlaw's the honest man. Would you repeat what you just said to me on the witness stand? Well, I... I... We better be getting on if we want to get back to our farms before dark. When man have fear in heart, tongue become frozen. Barmaid. If you've got a roast, heap up a couple of plates. We're as hungry as grizzlies. <laughs> Good boy. Too hungry to look for Ethan Allen. <laughs> Too full to climb green mountains. Yeah, those mountains look big, all right. But hanging around here won't make them any smaller. <laughs> what paper say? It says, you saved Fickett and the others from jail. I'll save you the trouble of looking for me. I'll be waiting at Big Tree, four miles down trail. Sign Ethan Allen. Then Sheriff is right. Outlaw have spy everywhere. We go. Well, when you get an invitation from the man you're looking for, you can't refuse to accept it. Kind of feel like a bear sticking his nose in a beehive. There is old Mohican saying that if bear go look for honey with eyes not open, get many bee stings. Well, there's where we split up. You take the lower trail. No sense in putting two heads in one noose. It's a good thing me and my men happened along. Well, it looks like you didn't need much help. All right. Jail for you, Green Mountain Boy. Well, now you can see what I'm up against here. 
These outlaws will stop at nothing, not even murder. Seeing as how we're still alive, murder would be a hard charge to prove, Sheriff. Well, attempted murder won't be. Yeah, this is one bit of violence that Ethan Allen will never be able to deny. Attacking the Commissioner General's man himself. I, uh, I suppose you're keeping on the trail. Well, if you should come across Ethan Allen's hideout, well, don't take any chances. Remember, me and my men, we're, we're here to serve you. Well, keep that in mind, Sheriff. Mm -hmm. All right, get going. There are many trails through forest. Why does Sheriff happen on this one? That's what I was wondering. But first, we're going to find out if Ethan Allen really sent this note. Just for a moment, Mr. Pickett, it's important that I talk to you. Around these parts, talking can be dangerous. I've already thanked you for helping me, Dave. Now leave me be. Just answer one question. Where can I find Ethan Allen? So I was right. The only reason you befriended me and the others was in the hope of tricking us into betraying him. Whose idea was it? Sheriff Peterson's or, or that tubalard Bulmer? Just an idea of my own. But speaking of betraying, maybe you can explain why my friend and I were set on today by a band of Green Mountain Boys. Green Mountain Boys ain't bushwhackers. And I've never been accused of being a spy. Well, whoever you are, you, you did keep me and my friends out of the lockup. But that don't give you no cause to come busting in here and quiz me about Ethan Allen. That's why I'm here. I am from the Commissioner General's office. I'm here in the cause of justice. If Ethan Allen is an honest man, you owe him a duty to help him prove it. He's already proved himself to us around here. Honest man looks straight in eye. Not hiding forest like weasel. I've been called many things before, but never a weasel. I've known some liars that can look in a man's eyes and never bat a lash. Take their weapons. And so now your search for me is over. He's a commissioner general's man. Oh, so the sheriff has sent for expert help. Yes, he did, Ethan Allen. But just don't forget, experts have minds of their own. Yeah, they got necks that can stretch as well as anyone's, too. Now, that's a remark I'd expect from a desperate outlaw. From what I've seen and heard in these parts, I didn't figure you fit that description. So now that you've seen me, has your mind changed any? That's for a court of law to decide. I'm asking you all to give yourselves up. <laughs> That's a damn, boys. They can't sheriff us out, so they send us an invite direct from the Commissioner General himself. And if we take it, we'll all be dancing high and light on the gallows. That's where you're mistaken. The Commissioner General is just and fair. If you're honest men, you'll go free. And who might you be, the Prime Minister himself? He is called Hawkeye by his Indian brothers. Hawkeye? That's a name we've heard before, isn't it, boys? Well, when I was up Shenango way, I heard tell how he saved an innocent soldier from hanging on a false charge of treason. Yeah, and all up and down the colonies, they say a man can trust just two things. A charge of honest dry powder and the word of Hawkeye. Ethan, talk will only bury us deeper. Let's teach him a lesson and send him on the way. Let's not be hasty, Jake. There's something else about Hawkeye. The Indians call him that because there isn't anyone can shoot better. And there ain't nobody can shoot better than you in the Green Mountains, Ethan. Exactly. Stranger, we're going to see if you're really Hawkeye or just another liar. Pickett, give him his rifle. You see that deer's head up there? You take the left eye, I'll take the right. Go ahead. I saw it. But I, I don't believe it. He never even took aim. <laughs> okay, that shot blew away my doubts on you. Yeah, the feeling I had that I was going to a hanging. When bear hear man laugh, know he not have to hide in forest from rifle. Men would never have to run if they could just look in each other's faces and really know each other. Then will you and your Green Mountain boys go with me to the Commissioner General? Hawkeye, I can only speak for myself, not my men. They've got the right to decide for themselves on an important thing like that. It's like Mohican Council. All braves have right to tell tribe what to do. That's right, Chingachgook. We Green Mountain boys figure that free men have the right to speak their peace before we take any sort of action. 
But whatever decision my boys and I reach, I'll see you here tomorrow. Come on, boys. That's the first time I ever heard Ethan Allen tell anyone where he was going to be the following day. Goodbye, Mr. Pickett. Paid your taxes. Forgot to give you a receipt. Okay, take him in the back room. Tie him up. No. The rest of you get ready. What if Hawkeye shows up before Ethan Allen? Then we'll take them both. We've got plenty of necktie rope for everybody. Come on, let's get over here. What's the matter, Ethan? I don't know. It's awful quiet around that cabin. <laughs> that thicket. I've known him to sleep past seven in the morning. Yeah, we'll see. I'm going in alone. You cover me. set him free if we'd have to take that whole settlement apart stick by stick. Answering violence with violence won't help. You double-dealing traitor. I didn't think Green Mountain Boys shot men down without giving them a hearing. All right, speak your piece. But you ain't gonna talk us out of hanging you. Hanging us won't save Ethan Allen. We'll worry about Ethan after we've taken care of you. You got any last words to say? Just one thing. You're making a big mistake. What happened today was just as much a surprise to me as it was you. We trailed you here to tell you that. Are you finished? No. But you'll be if you don't stop taking the law into your own hands. If you try to rescue Ethan Allen by force, you'll be hunted down by something more than just a sheriff. You attack settlement, maybe hurt woman or child. Then Green Mountain's not big enough to hide you. I've learned enough to be convinced that Bulmer and the sheriff are the ones who belong behind bars. If you men would just sit tight and let Chingachgook and I take care of this, Ethan would be free. What can you do? Walk in and wave your finger in front of the sheriff's face? <laughs> He'll laugh at you. There's only one thing that rogue will listen to. Our rifles. Commit violence and you won't be able to go home. Some of you men have families. If you won't think of yourselves, think of them. You won't be free to see them again unless you let me handle this my way. You hit us where it hurts, Hawkeye. We all want to go home to our families and be able to live like honest men again. We'll give you the dusk to set Ethan free. Your friend here is staying. And if you ain't back with Ethan before dusk, we're hanging him. You go, my brother. Fifty pounds, ten. Fifty-one. What Peterson don't see, he won't miss. Fifty-two and six. Where did the sheriff take Ethan Allen? I don't know. That cell's empty, but it won't be for long. There'll be a dead man in it. You. You're too late. He's hanging him. Hanging him? Where? There's no gallows out back. At the edge of town over there. Bo, 
Homer, you better pray that I'm on time, or you'll be praying at your own execution. Well, you're not so brave now I'm sending you to meet your maker, huh? At least I'm prepared to meet my maker face to face. Which is more than I can say for you. All right, stand clear. Get out. Don't you, Hawkeye? I've lost it. Looks like I got you out of the frying pan and both of us into the fire. Spot like this, it's a pleasure to have the finest marksman in the colony on my side. It's a pleasure to be shooting with, not against, the best in the Green Mountains. I'll take the one on the left. Alan! Hawkeye! Give yourselves up! I'm warning you! I'm warning you, Sheriff. You'd better give yourself up if you want a fair trial. Give him a volley! our powder supply out, we're going to have to figure out another way of fighting. That's all right by me. They're out of shot! Come on, rush them! Jake, I never thought I'd be so glad to see your big, ugly face. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Green Mountain Man, never doubt Hawkeye's word. Yeah, here's my hand on it. <laughs> you can tell the Commissioner General will abide by whatever decision he makes. I have an idea he'll approve of my leaving you here as Sheriff, Ethan. You ain't said nothing about me being Chief Deputy. Well, I haven't recommended you for the job. We can't leave the territory without a tax collector. You're it. But just remember, taxes don't belong to the collector. They belong to the people. <laughs> well, good luck with your new jobs, gentlemen. Bye, Hawkeye. Bye, Hawkeye. Hey, Hawkeye. I don't understand about taxes. Indians not have taxes. Very happy. Well, that's right. But white men don't mind paying for the privilege of living in a free country. Join us again at this same time next week for another of James Fenimore Cooper's gripping tales of the early American frontier. Another exciting adventure of Hawkeye and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans.